Hey, it's Mike from ImageGuy.com. Let's look what's happening in the world of digital cameras. JVC announced the GCPX1. God, is that thing ugly. It's like they got a camcorder and a point-and-shoot camera and tried to mash them all together. The JVC is definitely an ugly Franken cam, but it's got some pretty amazing specs. Pentax unveils the Bonnie Pink DSLR. I don't know what to say about this camera. I'm still speechless. And three lens manufacturers have jumped onto the four thirds bandwagon. Sigma, Zeiss, and Schneider Kruznock. Kruznock? I know most of you are familiar with Sigma and Zeiss lenses, but Schneider lenses have been around for a very long time and have been used on large format cameras for years and were considered uh, some of the best lenses made. So you now have a company that makes excellent uh, quality optics heading, on, heading into the uh, four thirds market. With all these lens manufacturers jumping onto the four thirds bandwagon, could it be that four thirds might take over Canon and Nikon? Maybe. A whole bunch of new cameras were also uh, introduced from uh, Nikon and Canon. From Nikon, the Coolpix P300. The S9100. The P500. The L120. S1600. The S4100 the S3100 and the L2400. From Canon, the Rebel T3i. The T3i seems to be just a, a copy of the T2i with just a couple more features. The Rebel T3. The GPS enabled PowerShot SX230. The ELF at 300 HS and the ELF 100 HS. I'm going to put links to everything I mentioned uh, below on my blog. This is Mike from ImageGuy.com, and thanks for watching.